But one thing that mm. I definitely do want to bring up here, mm-hmm. because we didn't get, I, I lost my voice, so I didn't get to s- discuss it the last time with anyone, was this whole um, like Drake culture vulture, um, mm. Wiley thing and all of that. And bro, I'm not going to lie, yeah? When all of this was ha- like happening, I did say, I'm not even discussing this again, because mm. it's so boring and jarring boring. to me, bruv. Like, it's like, for me, in my opinion, yeah, people have been moaning about this guy for nine years. Mm-hmm. He's been consistent for nine years mm. and people have been nine, eight, nine years mm. into the same moan. The dude has been consistent in his mm. actions, mm-hmm. yeah, and for eight or nine years, people have been going on about the same moan. Mm. It's so jarring. I came to a conclusion. I actually came to a conclusion. This is my thing, yeah? If anyone could sit and say for this long period of time, Mm. like eight years, nine years, whatever, yeah, that Drake or someone like Drake Mm. couldn't, he couldn't just love what happens in the UK scene, yeah? Mm. It's just unfathomable, yeah, Mm. if that is a word, yeah? That means that you don't rate what's happening here as much. I was just about to say, yeah. It's it's, it's not even like, like, let me put it to you like this, yeah? It's not even like Drake has come here Mm. and like he proper, what he likes is a proper hot take or it's just mad. Like, Mm. let's just say, for example, um, the first time he embraced UK music was like Michael Dapper. Let's just say he came and he just Mm. was just on that. Mm. Yeah, just that one thing that was just hot for that moment Mm. or the other little things that are just like, just these little come and go things or whatever. Yeah, 30 or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you guys could hear that. Mm. You get what I'm saying? But like, what he comes here and he what he rates Skepta? Mm. Of course you do, because he's mm. hard. What he came here and he likes gigs. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Of course you do, because he's sick. Mm. What you ca- what you came here and you like Lowski? Mm. Of course you did, because Lowski's sick. Mm. What Georgia Smith? Of course he's talented. Mm. It's Top Boy. Section you watch Top Boy. Boy. You watch Top Boy and you mm. liked it. Of course you did. If in my opinion, mm. if somebody couldn't come here and identify that these things were sick or mm. what, even <laughs> though music is. Um, mm is uh, relative or whatever, mm. or subjective, sorry. Then like, but still like with that, these people that he's coming and reaching out to are mm. evidently sick, sick. bro. In and he's been doing well. it. For t- even when going back to um to uh, 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 Sneakbo, when he yeah. like, like that. First one. First yeah, of one. course. I remember the- uh, um, Odd ads even Interview mentioned. with uh, Tim Westwood. Yeah, yeah, where he's, he's saying, if, look, I was at um, Section Boys when, when it was Smoke Boys now, but when they done, yeah. when he done a come out for them, yeah. yeah. He came out off the basis of, I've just come from the Brits. I could go to a hotel, I could go to anywhere and I've come to your show to shell it quickly down, give you more notice, like make you guys more noticed oh, yeah. for free. He hasn't done anything paid. He's helped our scene get more likes and acknowledgement. Look how much, yeah, when gigs dropped to KMT, yeah? How much people were slating gigs in America. Mm. He gave gigs some like his name out there, so to yeah. speak. Not to say his name wasn't relevant because he'd already won the BT and stuff out yeah. there. But Drake's the biggest artist, one of the biggest artists. You featured on two songs on his mixtape that was anticipated. Yeah, that's love, bro. Bro, people I- don't do that. So I'm thinking, like, why do people hate Drake so much? Is it because he's so successful? Is it because he makes bangers all the time? Is it because I don't know. I, I genuinely don't have the answers to it. Some I, of it is that. Some of it is all of that. Some of it, in my opinion, is just an element of self hate. Mm. It has to be to be able to consistently not to be able to consistently mm. think that he could not come here and like the man. Then, mm. like, how about this? Genu- he genuinely like the man. He's artists. doing it for no like like. Like there's not there's not a, a a real gain that you can get out of it. Everyone says, no. "Oh, it's about him staying relevant." Yeah, but then that's like. In my opinion, this is how ridiculous it sounds mm. to me. And I could mm. be wrong. Mm. And I'm willing to, actually, I'm not willing to hear other people's opinions mm. on it, but whatever, mm. say what you want. But it's almost like you're saying to me, well, the reason why, so Drake has had, how is what is it? 8 billion streams on Spotify. Google that for me, please. I think it's like 8.3 billion streams on Spotify. So one of the reasons why, mm. Drake, this is just one, so it's not mm. iTunes, it's not um, YouTube mm. and all of these other things, just Spotify. Mm. So one of the reasons why Drake has 8.3 um, Spotify streams is because he went to a Lowski concert. Mm. That, but this is the thing, yeah. 13 billion. 13 billion. 13 billion. So, so partly, 
August last year. August last year. So partly a contributing factor mm. to why Drake has 13 billion mm. streams just on Spotify mm. is because he um, he he likes Skepta. Mm. Or he would like, he brought, he like- he You went, know what it is, yeah? This is the thing. I feel like with our scene, because it's not respected, so to speak, in, in America, mm. I feel like when an artist comes over here and jumps on our songs that are bangers, people misconstrue it for it being He's trying to take the vibe, trying to take the buzz and all of that stuff. They said the same thing about that song he jumped on with Dave. Yeah. Don't people know how sick Dave is? Bro, that, that's that another one as well. That Dave's going to be sick and be a king in this thing regardless of it. Look, he hasn't even jumped on... Okay, who's who would you say is our biggest artist in the UK? Apart uh, from Jay Huss and Dave. Ske what, out of all of them lot? Yeah. Probably Skepta. Like in in our in our without our scene, yeah, probably. But I'd off. say Stormzy's oh, someone Stormzy. up there as well. But, but the only reason why I say Skepta, that's a, this is a good debate actually. Mm. But the only reason why I would probably say Skepta is because longevity. Nah, is because what are we talking about? The biggest here in this country or worldwide? No, I'm talking about in the UK, as in the UK fan base. Oh, maybe then maybe 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 Stormzy edges that. But I think that like Skepta worldwide is bigger than Stormzy. Cool. Probably. All right, let's. Well, because you <coughs> built a relationship with Skepta, this is why I brought up, asked this question was because Stormzy, in my eyes, is one of, or if not the biggest artist in the UK. Absolutely. And he hasn't even done anything with I think Stormzy. he probably is the and, biggest in the UK. And I feel like if it was, I feel like personally, I would give it more legs to stand on if it was, he's going for the straight big fish. Oh, that's true. He's going for people who are up and coming. He yeah. went for section boys. He went for Lowski, Dave. Obviously, Dave is not as big as he is wasn't as big as he was then than he is now, now yeah. but still he's yeah. trying to help people who he but thinks are that, hard. That, that says a lot to I, jump on that song exactly when dave did it at that point was he, like he did it bro i don't understand he didn't need to do that mm. he just heard the song and thought it was a wave and then ultimately i can never I, like I, and i'm i'm the same with poet as well yeah i am about action and intent mm -hmm. and all of these mm -hmm. things of why some people are doing certain things mm -hmm. or whatnot yeah but let me tell you something now yeah i can't begrudge a man who jumps on a song with a hot prospect yeah mm -hmm. a proper hot prospect like he didn't jump on it when the guy had already bust mm -hmm. he jumped on it mad early with dave and and helped and helped to completely change this young black boy's life, mm. a kid who's from Streatham, mm. to then go on to do something. I can't be mad at that. I Bro. can't be mad at it. But that's the thing. I think that's- How people find negatives in these things it's are self -hate, nuts man, to Trucks, me. man, trust me, because like with, with that song, yeah, anytime I see Drake jump on a song, I don't look at it as if he's trying to take the buzz off the song. I don't believe that Drake is that kind of conniving. But what I do believe it is, he does want a bit of credibility as anyone would. Of course. You wouldn't jump on a that. song who that wouldn't help elevate you or show that you're the best lyrically or whatever. However, I don't think it's it's a thing where he's vulturing our, our, our scene. No. If anything, he's bringing more light to it. He's yeah. bringing more awareness to it. He comes to our platforms and drops freestyles for our DJs also. Yeah. So it's not a thing where he's just doing it for the artists. He does no. it for the scene. Does it for music itself he actually yeah. genuinely loves the Lon like, like loves london in it like do you yeah. know what i'm saying yeah. we are a lit people is that people forget that we're lit and not just not ju not even just london i know he like fucks with bugsy and all of these yeah, type of like, things and that as well. saying, so let me just say this as well just very quickly in that as well is that like with this whole with this whole situation with him yeah like and him being on it so early i just think that like like Sometimes people are just human beings as well. Mm. Do you get me? And you, there are there are like a lot of people that see this thing as solely as a business or what mm. whatnot, and like and try to suck the life out of it just to get a gain out of it. Mm. Um, and I I would understand also from the perspective of there'd been for some years there'd been a lot of times where artists had come over here mm. um, to the UK, like P Diddy for example. That's an, mm. an uh, like a, um, one of the biggest cases where he came here one time, messed around with Skepta, um, made him, they did what, he did the Hello Good Morning remix, mm. did a grime thing, whatever. As soon as he went back to America, he's not, he don't fuck with my yeah, man yeah, anymore and all of these all. type yeah, of things. Yeah, of and uh, like, that was happening a lot. So, you know what, off the premise of that, off the premise of like people coming here and just trying to just be hot off something, just, mm. just so that they can uh, uh, get a quick buzz here or whatever, that has happened. Mm -hmm. But when someone, is so consistent in how they move. Mm. And especially in like, 
It's not like he just comes here, he's just here and showing people love. When he's over there, mm-hmm. when he's over there, he's still doing that. Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like when he did the whole thing when he um on his Instagram where he was putting up all the characters of Top Boy and whatever, mm-hmm. he wasn't in England. Mm-hmm. He was wherever the hell he was. And on top of that, the reason why things are very different now is because social media is really different. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it would be, you'd be, you'd look real cuntish anyway if you came here. And you was like fucking around with certain artists. You go back, you know, and then you're not showing no love on your social mm. media or whatever. Mm. Bear in mind, you could do whatever the hell you want to do. I'm not mm. criticizing you. If that's what you want to do, mm. cool. But he has however many followers on his Instagram, yeah? Mm. For him to constantly be posting people, talking about them or whatever it may be mm. and, sh- and showing that spotlight on them and not find and not necessarily financially, mm. having a financial gain out of it. Mm. How can, I don't, bro. I don't understand. Bro. That's the thing. But I just feel a lot of people just want to talk because it's something to talk about. Yeah. They're not actually saying anything. Because if you ask them, how is he being a culture vulture? They're going to say to you one thing. He keeps jumping on our songs. But isn't that giving us the light that we need? Like with the UK for years. How does it make him a vulture though? That, there's no, that, no one can give you a definitive answer for that reason alone. That's why we don't speak about it because it is, it's void. On top of that, the man has been what you said since Take Care dropped because I think when Take Care dropped is when we started actually started talking about the whole sneak ball stuff yeah, yeah. Since bearing then, in mind because he was doing that before that, yeah but way. since but then bro every artist that he's jumped on a track with in the UK he's helped yeah. elevate their career yeah. So how on earth is that not helping our scene grow where we've been trying for years to get Americans to notice us yeah. to for years we've jumped on remixes no videos have been done. I remember when Chip jumped on a tune with um, Meek, Pizza Boy. Yeah, I remember I that. I couldn't wait for the video. I was thinking, Meek's my artist, Chip's yeah. fucking sick. Never happened. Yeah. Then he's done an interview and he's like, you forgot about the song. Of course. That's the ignorance of America. Yeah, yeah. But then when you get someone, he's not even American, he's Canadian, yeah. coming over here, spending time with our people who we support, Skepta, Giggs, Section, Lowski, Sneakbow. Bro, we owe that man... That's why when people Georgia say Smith. some Georgia Smith, we owe him some sort of respect. Now, if you don't like the stuff he does, cool. Him as a person, brilliant. But what he does for music, you can't hate. If anything, you're a hater for what he's doing. Because yeah. nobody as big as Drake in that scene in America has ever tried to help us. Not, not to, Definitely not to that degree. Not, even to the stage where like a TV show, which we all love dearly, Top Boy, he's helped give it that push. Yeah. To the stage well, where it literally looked like this is what is because this is another thing, yeah. So, because obviously people can just be negative about anything. Mm. Uh, Drake, the culture vulture, he's doing the top boy thing, whatever, yeah. Mm. Like, in how I've seen it, is that, and this is not even any information that's been given to me, but he's watched it, he's liked it, mm. he's reached out. Um, actually, I'm do- there's a thing that's going to be coming out in the summer where I filmed with Vice, yeah, and I was behind, uh, well, I think it's noisy, but I was do- one of the two. Um, it's going to be coming out. <laughs> Man, no, 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 you know no, 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 no. They actually didn't because when I was asking them which one is it going to come on, I think it's coming on noisy. Sorry, Alex, if I got it wrong, but I think it will be coming out on noisy. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but um, but yeah. So anyway, I did the the backs the behind the scenes and stuff mm. like that at one of the at one of, when they were filming or whatever, and I was talking to some of them. So you're going to see that come out at some point. But literally, how it seems to me is Drake watched it, saw it, loved it, yeah. And then was like inquiring about it. When's the next one? Mm. There doesn't look like there's going to be a next one because of X, Y, and Z and money, this and whatever. What are you talking about? What do you mean? Money? What money's the issue? Or what type of politics is there? You, naturally, you're going to find mm. out what's mm-hmm. happening. Mm-hmm. I love this thing. Mm. Oh, what? So it needs this and it needs that. Mm. Well, if you want, I got that. Mm. I got that. What is wrong with that? Seriously, what is wrong with because that? Because you know what? People don't know that. Okay, cool. Of course, there's going to be a financial gain for him, yeah? yeah. But the bigger picture Naturally, of it, and so they should. And so they should. But the bigger picture is we, as a UK, the UK get to see something which we, like I said, we love dearly, get a season two, and it's because of him. Right. Nobody in our scene was able to do that. Nobody, none of the producers and, and, and the people who are in charge of it was able to do it. Mm. Drake enforced it. How does this become a culture vulture. I feel like some people just generally don't have good intentions in their heart and they can't fathom someone else doing it. Yeah, yeah, so it's true. like, when he does it, oh, there's an ulterior motive there. Definitely. That's shocking for me. And yeah, that's, that's why, right. if Drake was to say one day out of nowhere, man, I love you London, but you lot don't really fuck him, so I ain't coming in no more. No one could be upset. Because I feel like if he ever reads into, not that he does, but I hope he doesn't anyway, read into what they say on Twitter, 
yeah. he could be discouraged to do this anymore. Of course. Do you know and I, mean? I think there must be times where he p- probably does feel a little bit like that. Like, rah. I probably check, it, and, and, and on top of that, yeah, there's probably like a lot of things that happen. Mm-hmm. Like, there's certain people that I hold to a high regard in terms mm-hmm. of how much I respect them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And these people that I hold to this regard are people that respect him mm-hmm. and respect the people that are around him. Yeah. So inherently, there's an element of me that respects this guy anyway, mm-hmm. because if these people respect you, yeah. then they, there must be an element of certification Trust, with, within that. My brethren knows Drake, yeah. And how I went to the Drake show this year mm. was because my man messaged him, said, oh, I've been trying to get tickets. I can't get tickets. Drake messaged him back and was like, how many do you need? Mm. That's how I was there. He literally yeah. just got bare for the man name just in case. Yeah. He messaged Drake the next day. Can I get that again? Same thing. So, that, <laughs> so for me, yeah. yeah. No, I said to my boy, <laughs> run up. And, 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 and if he's listening, yeah. hey, this is going to end up in a group chat because we've been getting onto him. Yeah. I was like, brother, the man bust you once yeah, yeah, and you're going to yeah. answer it again. Yeah, did, did, did. But then he did though. Yeah. So it's like, like you said, the people that I know, that I proper know, that know my man, yeah. have said he's just a humble person. Of course. It's just that where people don't like him so oh. much, you're going to have to become a cunt one day to these people that don't like you. So that's why when he's being... Yeah, but you know what? With that being said, though, that if you got these relationships with these people, and I know that he... That, like, mm. this must just be a thought that goes through your head anyway. When you have these relationships with these people, yeah, as much as you might feel like that at certain points, you got these relationships. Fuck what anyone else yeah, thinks. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, people shouldn't have to suffer. Your relationship with somebody shouldn't have to suffer just because people that you don't even know. Okay, let me put it, let me put it to you like this, yeah? If you are brethren, if you're mad cool with somebody, yeah, mm. but then there's all of these people that you don't even know that mm. is not happy with you being cool with this person. Yeah. Why should your friendship or your you being cool mm-hmm. with that person affect be affected by all of these yeah, people that you don't even know yeah. and necessarily give a shit about anyway? And they're probably gonna watch your videos and all of that anyway. anyway yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So to me, I just think all of that is I just think all of that is air. Obviously, I'm not saying that this is directed at Wiley. I'm just saying this yeah. as in general because this is a thing that constantly... He's going to come back again. He's going to come back again. He's going to show bare love to people again. There's probably a bunch of stuff that he does with that that he does on Instagram and yeah. people don't necessarily talk about. Do you get Things that I know personally of people hanging around and flying here and him checking and what yeah. whatnot that you, they don't need to show the yeah. world about. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's genuine. But mm. like, with that being said, it's like, you know what? He's gonna come here again. He's gonna show bare love again. Mm. He's gonna show love to the artists. He's gonna show love to the mm. to the DJs and to just people that he's friends with. Mm. And then people are gonna have something to say again. Mm. Then it's gonna happen the next year. Then it's gonna happen the next year. Then it's gonna happen the next year. I'm just drawing the line of it now. Mm. I'm not even discussing it anymore. I think we should crazy. I think we're giving it too much. Like, if you like Drake, you like what he does, then it's, it is what it is. And if you don't, then you don't. That's where it should end because I feel like again and again we're just gonna keep going round and round in circles. In circles. And it's like the man has, like we said, it's been ten years, bro. He's been supporting our scene. Some people in 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 between our own scene doesn't even don't even support us. The exactly. Same way. So it's like with the whole Wiley situation as well. I didn't really understand the angle of it because it's like, okay, cool. Even if you feel he's a culture vulture, I don't understand how men do this social media expressions of how you feel. I'd r- rather message a man and say, brother, you're, you're culture vulture in our scene. I feel like yeah. Wiley done it to provoke reaction. I think yeah. everything he does recently has yeah, yeah, been to provoke some sort of reaction. Maybe gets a kick out of it. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. But yeah, that whole culture vulture thing. He probably, there's probably a part of him that make that probably feels that type of way for whatever yeah. reason. But yeah, I do think that a lot of that is probably just to provoke some type of reaction, to be honest mm. with you. And you know what? He definitely got it because Drake was just like, oh, this guy's goofy or whatnot. And this was another thing that I thought was quite funny that like, like that no one can ever ever take mm. away the fact that Wiley is our legend. Of course. He's our, no of one course. could ever of do course. that. Of no course. one. Not And Drake didn't do that. No. He just, he, 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 he mentioned a specific thing that happened and, and, and called the action of that goofy. Mm. Yeah. But like, we all know, everyone that is here knows that Wiley is our guy, isn't it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what is funny to me is when all of this was happening, People, I see people leaving comments like, yeah, well, I don't give a fuck because, you know, Wiley's our legend and he's our guy. And, you know, and if Wiley says this, then he says that. Mm. And it's like, but 
Okay, somebody could be a legend, yeah? Yeah. Someone could be a proper legend and proper... You can disagree with that person. Of course, know? of course. They can be wrong. Yeah. You can feel like maybe that yeah. person didn't have legs to stand on in this one. Yeah. Maybe you might feel like they did. But just because somebody is a legend doesn't give that person that... Uh, you, the, um, you you dismiss the criticism within something that they've, they've done. Do you get yeah, me? 100%. Like, with yeah. Wiley, I, I said, yeah, that I, I felt like with legends, people that have done everything that they need to do, i.e. the whole Kanye yeah. or or like Jay-Z. The difference between Kanye and Jay-Z is that Jay-Z is such a boss and he's done everything, he doesn't even talk. He just does what he needs to do in the background. Yeah. I feel like Wiley is better suited to do that because he's like what Dizzy's doing. You don't really hear Dizzy. No, I think Wiley's great, a great personality to have in the... Do you he, know what? Sometimes is, we need it. Sometimes he we is. Just, sometimes I, I, I think, not me personally, because I will always respect Wiley for the simple yeah. fact of what he's done yeah. for our scene. And I think because of that is why we give him leniency. Yeah, yeah, but what definitely. he's doing, really and truly, <laughs> like, it's questionable. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, I, I sometimes watch his videos, yeah, and I follow him, like, yeah. as everyone does. I think, this guy's very smart. But then sometimes I think... Is he trolling? Is he what's he doing here? Is he is there something wrong with him? Yeah. Like when Krep said what he said about him, and yeah. he said mental health or whatever, then he bugged out. Yeah. Like I don't get his his method of doing things, yeah. but because he's a legend, man stomachs it. Yeah. When really and truly, man should be like, bro, that's wrong. Yeah. And course. everyone should call him out for what it is. Yeah. As or what, or just have a phone call because another thing I I don't I never don't understand, especially like I've seen this with a lot of the old bucks and that like as well, like this whole like talking to each other through so like social so media cool. and that like, like I don't use you know it's mad corny, I even saw corny. some of that yeah like even when I had this situation with um uh I had this situation with Jammer or whatever mm. with this thing with, which ironically involved Wiley yeah mm. and um and like I'm seeing like people that I I'm not friends with mm. but like we've had interactions before mm. we've spoken on the phone before whatever it is and like speaking to me via like Snapchat and Insta Instagram and like all of these things. And I'm like, but you could just ring me. Mm. Like, like I don't like, to me, none of that makes any sense. That doesn't make any sense to me only because I'm probably at the age that I'm at, but mm. these lot are at that age too. Mm -hmm. So to me, it doesn't make any sense to me. And I even had a conversation with um, Cyan Anderson recently. We was talking up, about si. some stuff, big up Cyan, yeah. And we was talking a lot, we was talked a little bit about all of that. And I said to her, yeah, that like in amongst, in in the mix of all of this stuff, yeah, there's one thing that I really, um, that I really felt at that time, especially when one of my brethren asked me, oh, like, are you cool? Is everything okay or whatever? And I was like, yeah, because the reality is not an ounce of my self-worth is dependent on these men liking yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> like not an ounce of that is mm -hmm. dependent on any of these that liking mm -hmm. me. But I just know that, for me, if we, if I feel some type of way towards you, then we're gonna have a phone call and we're yeah. gonna speak about certain things. Mm -hmm. Not speak to me through, not talk to me through these other means and mm -hmm. all of that. But I don't know, bro. Yeah, I Go think on. even with that, like I think it's um, it's a new way of doing things, which sh it shouldn't be. Yeah. I feel like with me, cause I, I'm never gonna get into. You'll never see me do none of that stuff. Like get into like a social media war with anyone. I think it's just some, more of a pride thing. Mm. You get me? Someone's gonna come at you. You're only gonna respond because you don't want to look like a certain way. Yeah. Whereas really and truly, you're feeding into negativity. Of course. Especially when you've got something positive going on. You didn't start this to be Jammer's friend or to be whoever's friend. Absolutely. You started bro. this to be whatever. Jammer's a legend in his own. Absolutely. In his of course. Own we respect. I don't have no well. problem. We're cool. Same with him with this Ian yeah. Wright thing. I think yeah. that's brilliant because yeah. you've. Uh, L, you want to call it? Yeah. Everyone's gonna be talking on social media. You've made a song out of it. Yeah, of course, we've forgotten about we it. We did that. Yeah, that's that's how I look at things. You just gotta use the negativity and turn it into a positive. Of course. So really, truly, lucky what you said, bro. Man doesn't care what anyone else has got to say. No, I've got my own vision here. Definitely. And what you're doing over there, big man, is exactly. thumbs up to you, kind of thing, innit? You get me? So. Once you've got your clear vision, you know what you're doing. All of that stuff. It doesn't. Nothing else matters, really. No, trust and me. And that, no. that's you know, someone said to me one time. Oh, I think over that whole that whole situation, that was about a different thing, some doctor's thing or whatever. Mm. People are like, one dude in particular, he's like, "Oh, you're done out here." Mm. And I'm like, "Bro, <laughs> I'm like, listen, yeah, like let me be honest with you. Like, I this credibility thing that you have put on me mm. isn't a thing that I wanted from you." Mm. 
Do you get what I'm saying? If mm. you give it to me, then that's cool. But I'm not asking for no credibility from you. Mm. Regardless of whether you watch or not, I'm still going to be here doing this. Mm. I don't do this for anyone, you know? Mm, mm, mm. Like, I have to be clear with that. I don't do this for anyone. Mm. I do this for me mm. and have conversations that I want to have. And if anyone comes and likes it, then we've got something in common. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? I, I never claim to know everything. I don't know. If, sometimes mm. I want to bring people here and learn some stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. But like... I do this because I want to learn some things and I just want to talk about some stuff or whatever it is. I don't mm. do it for you. So mm. if you say that I'm done out here, that's fine. Because mm. I'm still going to be here. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm still going to be here. But um, I think sometimes these are just like, it, it makes it easier when you already know what it is that you're trying to do and where it is that you're trying to go. Yeah. Do you get me? And I think that's why with me, I'm, I've been blessed to have people around me that's told me about this stuff warned me about this stuff yeah because i've had my plan you will get it yeah before I, before i even started doing this i had my plan mm. in terms of how we're going to do this how long it's going to take and i made sure that i wasn't going to allow any hiccups to come in my way obviously you have things that happen that are not planned but yeah. in terms of staying focused and understanding that whoever i meet on along the way wasn't actually part of my initial journey Word. so they can come and go at the same time it doesn't really matter to me Word. so that's my mindset i know who my friends are and I know where I'm going and why I'm doing this. So yeah. that's why like even with, cause you're, you know, like being a funny guy, like I said, it's not like we're in school anymore. Oh. I'm the business now. Yeah. So I don't care if I look like a mug anymore. Of course. Like I know where I'm going in it. So like, yeah. I'm not gonna be drawn out to nonsense yeah. and how I care about my pride and stuff. As long yeah. as money's coming in, people, I'm, I'm inspiring people. That's all that matters to me. Bro. Word. So, I understand how you feel about just not caring because I don't. Bruv, none you know of I mean? it, seriously. Like, I think it's, I don't know. But yeah, bro, listen, thanks for coming, bro. Anytime, I man. I probably enjoyed this conversation. This you was come back again? I have definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when things get litty, because obviously now I'm doing murky. Oh um, yeah, yeah, see that? I had to put that I out there. That. Listen, yeah, before yeah, yeah. we go, yeah, yeah. I just, this is a message big to anyone Stormzy. that's watching. Yeah, big up Stormzy, yeah. Bro, this time last year, whatever date this is, it's April the 25th, mm. man was like broke. And then a year later, I'm hosting Murky Fest. That's Got so some stuff sick. coming with TV. Yeah. Like, whoever's watching, believe in yourself and Word. be yourself, brother. Word. So next time yeah, you man, see me, big up Stormzy me, for that as well. Big up Stormzy, big up everyone at the Murky. Yeah. So Y'all about to change my life. I <laughs> hear that saying? still. Now, nah, but, but yeah. definitely come back again anyway, big especially when poets here and we just chop up on some other thing, bro. You done love and guidance to you every time, yeah? Each and every time. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Do 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 do